active body swing and let your arms react to that. You'll get a natural release, you'll get some nice free speed. And the golf club will square up the way it's supposed to as you rotate through the ball rather than trying to manipulate it. I'll respond to a question that one of our members, Ian, had in the group about um, what to do with his lead arm on the uh, downswing or the release of the swing. And he made a question there. He's asking a question about you know some what what to do with it. He'd been you want your arms and your hands to react naturally to your body motion and your body pivot and turn, and and you want to develop a natural ground up active golf swing where it's the body rotation and the movement of the body and your footwork that is swinging the golf club and your arms swing around the center. That's a lot more natural, it's freer, it's, you're gonna generate a lot more speed, it's gonna be more accurate, and it's gonna be injury free. You'll be less prone to have injuries when you do Think that. Of it. The arms really work with your body rotation and they flow out from the center and you wanna make it free and natural. So for example here, if I'm swinging the golf club, just gonna hold it up in the air here, you know, roughly waist level. Shaft at about 45 degrees to my body, and I'm just gonna make some practice swings back and forth. Just focusing on letting the body turn back and forth and having some footwork. So I swing that club back and forth, keeping my arms loose and relaxed, letting the wrists hinge. I'm letting the wrists unhinge, you know, I'm not doing anything forced there. And when I do that, I rotate back, well, this arm folds naturally, the hand's set, the lead arm might stay straight, it might bend, I don't want any tension in it, it's just a reaction to the body rotating back, the upper body turning, and then when I come back down and through, you know, the lower body's unwinding and the arms are following the body and the club comes catching up here through the striking of the ball and the arms will tend to extend out naturally and then as I rotate through, so I keep rotating through, you're going to see what happens to that lead arm. It tends to naturally want to roll with the body and this lead wrist and lead back of that hand will tend to roll down naturally and I will be in a very good classic impact position where the arm is extended and this wrist is naturally bowed. And that's just a byproduct of rotating through and letting the club swing. That's a natural reaction to the swinging of the golf club back and forth without trying to force that at all or trying to force that extension in the lead arm. arm straight. As I mentioned, you're going to shorten your rotation and you're going to shorten your backswing. If you want to, you know, increase the length of your backswing and make a better pivot, let that arm go soft so that your body can turn freely. And the same thing coming down through the ball. If I'm trying to guide this ball with my arms and I'm trying to keep this arm extended as I'm trying to throw the ball and move it through, I'm not going to be able to do it. Again, I'm, my rotation is going to be inhibited. It's going to restrict me. I'm going to get tension in my back and shoulders, and I'll be swinging from up here rather than on the downswing. You know, having an active ground up with a downswing action where I'm using my lower body and feet to unwind and bring the arms come whipping through. So you want your arms to react to your body rotation, not the other way around. You don't want to be driving the motion by trying to do some manipulations with your hands and arms in the golf swing for your full swing. So. I'm going to throw a ball here. I've just got this ball, this soft ball. I'm just going to throw it here. So when I do that, everyone Barry here with Hold On One Success. And, you know, I'll respond to a question that one of our members, Ian, had in the group about um, what to do with his lead arm on the uh, downswing or the release of the swing. And he made a question there. He's asking a question about, you know, some what, what to do with it. He'd been you know, watching some videos and uh, maybe doing some reading about it in terms of uh, and some experimentation in the swing in terms of what exactly to do with the lead arm in the swing. And you know, one, one of the comments he made was about whether the, uh, he should work on letting the lead arm rotate naturally as it goes through the ball where the lead hand will rotate down as you go through and strike the ball and just letting the arm rotate or trying to hold it off and 
you know, having that lead wrist in a bowed, you know, supinated position or cup position through the golf ball while you're striking the ball. And um, both aren't really right or wrong, but, but, the, but the thing is though, you don't want to be really manipulating your arms at all in the golf swing and you don't want to be trying to do things with your hands and arms in the golf swing for all your full shots. You know, you, you want that, you want your arms just to react naturally to your body motion and your body pivot and turn and, and you want to develop a natural ground up active golf swing where it's the body rotation and the movement of the body and your footwork that is swinging the golf club and your arms swing around the center. That's a lot more natural, it's freer, it's good, you're gonna generate a lot more speed, it's gonna be more accurate, and it's gonna be injury free. You'll be less prone to have injuries when you do that. When you're trying to manipulate the golf club with your hands, you usually got tension, if you're gripping the club too tight, you end up forcing the arms unnaturally against the rotation and body shift and weight transfer, and that's when you can run into injuries. And the other thing about that too, it's just not gonna repeat. It's not gonna be natural. You're not gonna be able to repeat it. It's gonna be forced. So contact will be inconsistent and you'll probably lose some club head speed. Think of it, the arms really work with your body rotation and they flow out from the center and you wanna make it free and natural. So for example here, if I'm swinging the golf club, just gonna hold it up in the air here, you know, roughly waist level. Shaft at about 45 degrees to my body, and I'm just gonna make some practice swings back and forth. Just focusing on letting the body turn back and forth and having some footwork. So I swing that club back and forth, keeping my arms loose and relaxed, letting the wrists hinge. I'm letting the wrists unhinge, you know, I'm not doing anything forced there. When I do that, I rotate back, well, this arm folds naturally, the hand set, the lead arm might stay straight, it might bend, I don't want any tension in it, it's just a reaction to the body rotating back, the upper body turning, and then when I come back down and through, you know, the lower body's unwinding and the arms are following the body and the club comes catching up here through the striking of the ball and the arms will tend to extend out naturally and then as I rotate through, as I keep rotating through, you're going to see what happens to that lead arm. It tends to naturally want to roll with the body and this lead wrist and lead back of that hand will tend to roll down naturally and I will be in a very good classic impact position where the arm is extended and this wrist is naturally bowed. And that's just a byproduct of rotating through and letting the club swing. That's a natural reaction to the swinging of the golf club back and forth without trying to force that at all or trying to force that extension in the lead arm. I'll demonstrate using a couple balls here too. So in here I've got a, you know, the medicine ball, I don't know, it's eight, nine pounds, it's a little bit heavy, got some weight to it. If I try to force this, for example, if I try to keep my left arm, my lead arm, that unnaturally straight on the backswing, that's actually going to inhibit my body rotation. That will actually prevent me from turning because I'm going to tighten up and I'm just going to be turning primarily with my left shoulder. I won't be able to make a very good turn. So I'm going to hold it out here. I'm going to try to keep this arm tight and stiff. And it, it's difficult to turn much beyond this because I'm trying to keep that arm too stiff. There's too much tension. I can feel it all the way up in my left side, my left lat and shoulder area. I can't make a very good free swing. If I just let this hang nice and heavy, I let my arms relax, and I focus on an active backswing where I'm using my body rotation just to swing the arms and club back, I can make a much, much better, deeper body turn. But this just goes back naturally behind me here. And my arm might bend, it might not bend. You know, it doesn't need to stay straight. The, the thing is, is that we make a good active backswing with some free body rotation and have a good upper body turn. 
let the lower body pivot enough to let our weight, weight transfer into our trail side going back. So you don't necessarily have to be trying to force that lead arm straight going back. And in fact, there's a lot of good players on the PJ Tour, they do not keep their lead arm straight. It, it bows naturally. And one that comes to mind right away right now is the Canadian Corey Connors. Fantastic player, fantastic ball striker. His lead arm bows when he's swinging back. You know, it, he's not focusing on keeping it straight. He's focusing on his body turn and rotation and making that free backswing. You know, you try to keep arm straight, as I mentioned, you're going to shorten your rotation and you're going to shorten your backswing. If you want to, you know, increase the length of your backswing and make a better pivot, let that arm go soft so that your body can turn freely. And the same thing coming down through the ball. If I'm trying to guide this ball with my arms and I'm trying to keep this arm extended, as I'm trying to throw the ball and move it through, I'm not going to be able to do it. Again, I'm, my rotation is going to be inhibited. It's going to restrict me. I'm going to get tension in my back and shoulders and I'll be swinging from up here rather than on the downswing. You know, having an active ground up a downswing action where I'm using my lower body and feet to unwind and bring the arms come whipping through. So you want your arms to react to your body rotation, not the other way around. You don't want to be driving the motion by trying to do some manipulations with your hands and arms in the golf swing through your full swing. So, I'm going to throw a ball here. I've just got this ball, this soft ball. I'm just going to throw it here. So when I do that, and I'm not thinking about what I'm doing other than turning, my arms react naturally. Here. I look where the left arm goes. It just kind of, it goes around me. That's a natural position and it's, it's rotating around me like this. It may stay straight down here. It, it might bend a little bit. So it's, it's going to go right, right around me here as I throw, and that's going to be a natural throwing action, a natural release. And I'm not trying to think about it, and I'm not trying to manipulate it. So, for most golfers, taking the tension out of your hands and arms and letting them react freely to your body rotation is a, is a much, much better way to swing. Much better way to swing. You'll have more freedom, more accuracy more speed, you won't have to try to manipulate the golf club. So back, and your hands and arms are just going to react as you go around and let it go through. You don't have to think about it. So I'm not a big fan of trying to manipulate the golf club with the hands and arms, especially on the full swing. You want to try to free it up and keep it loose. And this way you can have that more active body swing and let your arms react to that. You'll get a natural release. You'll get some nice free speed. And the golf club will square up the way it's supposed to as you rotate through the ball rather than trying to manipulate it. To be more accurate, you'll be more consistent. It'll be a freer, easier swing. let it go around you like that. So the less we can try to manipulate the club with the hands and arms, the better off you're going to be. Just let them react to what your body is doing. They'll tend to go around you naturally. We don't want to force it and we don't want to manipulate it all. Hope that helps you a little bit, Barry from Hole in One Success. We see you. We'll see you again. Hopefully everybody's getting out on the golf course soon and enjoying some golf and let's have a great season. See you again.